you later. Okay, we're off to the Grand Palace. <laughs> Pier. That's a good name for it, isn't it? The Maha Rat Tunnel. That's the shoe they want to get in there. <laughs> this looks like this could be the perimeter for it. If it is, it's going to be some size. Again, I just got stopped by a, a friendly tour guide and showed me the way to the entrance. Uh, a sign there at Grand Palace. We're heading up to the entrance now. I was told the ticket includes a show as well. The lady came up and gave me a ticket. You can use it for up to five days. It's on Monday to Friday, three times a, a day. So you can do that as well if you want. This place has been uh, groomed to an inch of its life. Look at the uh, beautiful plants over there. So there are six of these demon guardians in total. Most of them are facing towards the chapel of the Emerald Buddha, which are there obviously to guard the statue.
This is the Emerald Buddha Hall, which was commissioned in 1782 by King Rama I. So the Emerald Buddha itself is even older and it's contained within this building. The statue itself is actually only 66 centimetres tall. It has three outfits that are placed on the Buddha according to the seasons. Construction in the Royal Pantheon started in 1856 and is actually a Thai Khmer style construction. One of the things that never fails to amaze is the mirrors on all these constructions. They just catch the sunlight perfectly as you're walking around and glistening in the sun. So this was constructed by King Rama IV and had no other purpose than to show his subjects what the Khmer ruins actually looked like. So this golden stupa was built by King Rama IV and has the purpose of enshrining the relics from the Lord Buddha. As typical of all these sites, you'll find shrines all around the building area so people can come along and worship. So this is a royal residence built by King Rama V in 1877. The original design was by a British architect, Mr. John Clunish. It was originally used as a royal residence, but now is just used for royal banquets. looks absolutely stunning from every angle. you enjoyed the tour of the Grand Palace. In the next video we're going to take a look at Wat Arun, which is also based on the Chow Praia River. If you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a like and subscribe for future videos. Thanks for watching!